Welcome back to Techno Voyeur, exclusively on technovoyance.com. Today, we're going to talk about NAS systems. A NAS system is a network attached storage system or device. It's uh, basically a box filled with drives with a small computer inside. It performs a similar service as a regular server. You attach to it over a network. The difference being a server is quite a large, powerful machine and it's quite a lot of computational power and uses usually a fair bit of electricity, is attached to a monitor, keyboard and mouse, etc. A NAS system is different in that you connect to it over a network, you don't need a monitor or a keyboard or a mouse, you actually communicate with it over the network through software. NAS systems are generally cheaper than servers, but they perform a similar job. It would, it's the kind of setup that's becoming increasingly more common in the small business, medium-sized business and even the home consumer sector. So what goes into a NAS system? What kind of hardware do we use in a NAS device? Something just like this. This is Veer's new segment-specific NAS 7800 board, which was designed specifically for NAS system integrators. This is not a consumer product. This is not available anywhere. As a, as a general consumer, you won't be able to get hold of this. On one side here, we've got two Ethernet ports. These are both gigabit ports for a good data transfer over the network, nice and fast. And over here, we've got eight serial ATA or SATA ports here in a row. So we can attach up to eight drives, which by my reckoning would give you one terabyte hard drive, so we give you eight terabytes of storage, which is quite a lot, really. It, underneath here, we have a VSC7 running uh, at 1.5 gigahertz. Here is our system memory slot. We can put up to a gig of ddr 2 b The fourth factor is actually the same size as a regular optical drive. And there's a reason for that. In fact, I think this baby would fit right inside an optical drive, just about. Now the idea is that system integrators and designers of NAS systems will be able to fit this snugly into a regular hard drive bay chassis. They'll be able to fit this into, into the one of the bays, one of the drive bays of the chassis rather than having to fit the board in, in this way, vertically, inside, inside the case. 